Hey, sleeping humans, wake up. It's breakfast time in the Joey's parents' basement household. Let's look at week three of the Absurdity City... Oh my gosh, come on, you made up the name. Absurd City Fantasy Football League. Do I ever stop making cosmetic changes? I don't know, but what there is a change of is there's only one person now 0-3, and that is Sir Joey. The Jander getting his first win in the season. Deontay Johnson, a lot of points from eight receptions over 100 yards, a touchdown, lovely bonuses there. Sir Joey just barely failing to meet 100 points. That's the second straight week that that's happened. Gary Nuts, Joey from the past. Gary Nuts bouncing back after a week two loss, and Rashi Rice really helped him out. In fact, clinched him the win going into Monday. Great production from his quarterback, Lamar Jackson, getting some help from a kicker, even Butker, the kicker. Past Joey couldn't crack 100 either. Derrick Henry carried 30.4 points, but you see the next highest score is the quarterback Mahomes in 16-point land. Pack Jake Summer also bouncing back from a week two loss. Josh Allen really put the Jaguars to work in the Monday night game. Four touchdowns. Dallas Goddard of my Eagles helping out big with 27 points. And Mathias. Jamar Chase and Justin Jefferson, not all that glitters is gold. Even with the two best wide receivers in fantasy, Mathias cannot come up with a victory. Little Fire Engine Joey and Pterodactyl had a pretty close one there, but my guy Saquon, Penn State Eagles, yay. 33.6 points, big touchdown at the end. Future Joey and scientist Jed Stone. Jed Stone picks up his first win in a nail biter. And even with 46 and a half points from DeJuan Jennings, it is not enough to put future Joey over the top as Jared Goff is the, the next highest score with 14 and a half points. A spread, a balance of points. Three players above 25. Malik Neighbors, Amari Cooper, and and Zach Chavanet all eclipsing 25 points. It was the one to watch Monday night. Two undefeated Cowboy Amos Payne versus Joey's brain. Well, my brain stands alone as the lone undefeated participant. And man, a narrow margin of victory. Lots of scoring on both sides. Green Bay DST really, really helping out Joey's brain. DK Metcalf, a solid, solid day at the office. A Terry McLaurin with big plays at the end of Monday night last night really helped push Joey's brain over the edge. So he is the lone undefeated participant at this point in the league. Now we got some clips from the press conferences. It's great to come away with the first of many wins. Um, and this time I had the winning formula. I cannot tell you what's in it because I am not trying to go to jail again. I hate this. This is getting stupid. I'm not drinking that butt juice. Yeah, it was nice being undefeated. Uh, no, I just lost a really, really big side bet that I'd stay undefeated. So, uh, I'm kind of feeling like doo-doo. What's up, moose and gooses? I'm not even a part of this, but just letting you know I'm going back to doing shows. Let's look at why are you betting's updated odds to win the championship. We have everyone listed by division. And Joey's brain, yep, the favorite, undefeated, moves up from the plus 400 rank of last week and taking a huge, huge dip is Joey from the past. Now currently plus 800 odds was at plus 200 odds last week. Little Fire Engine Joey making a huge leap. Look at that. Last week plus 600 and then to start the season plus 1200. He was the favorite to win the big but the, the what the big expired bottle of butt juice but sir joey is really right now lined up for that bottle of expired butt juice and then early preview of the week four schedule now this does not include any sort of pickups or drops that would happen on waiver wednesday and not really looking good for pterodactyl either mafia is a heavy favorite to win that matchup we'll see what happens there and it doesn't look like we have any 2-1 versus 2-1 Considering the win percentage and also the idea of the undefeated participant going down, I think that first one, Joey from the past and Joey's brain, the matchup to watch. Okay, that was nice and quick and easy. I'm going to go back to my breakfast and, and see ya. Oh, I got a song for you too.
See, I told you I had a song for you. Why would I make up something like that? What do you guys think of all the projection changes? Who do you think will be able to come out on top, or, or who do you think will remain butt juice? Leave, leave a comment. Did you like the show that Joseph was wearing? Now you can too. Click the Republic link in the description. Like Me and baby. Well, don't you know? I'm gonna skate right through and nobody do it but me. Yeah, I'm gonna spin, I do, ain't nobody do it but me, baby.